Hello, Kelly. Hello, Sam. How are you? How are ya? Doing okay? Thank you. How's your day going? Yeah, I'm tired. My eyes are bothering me today. Hello there. That's Sarah, right? Yes. Hello, Sarah. Hi, hey, Belinda. Good. Shasta, hello, hello. You're about to go to the doctor? Everything okay, I hope? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Imagine how I felt this morning when I saw it was the number one trend on Twitter. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. Yep. Just a normal checkup? Alright, good. Yeah. I've been burning up all fucking day on this one. Hmm. I had to wait until I fucking calmed down. So you think on Facebook, I did roar. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there, how are you? I'm going to Costco. Yeah, calm. Yeah, I had to calm down a bit. Fucking. I'm. St I, oh, I'm still fucking furious. But I, I have to say, I saw. Miss you too. How are you? Um, I saw a few good scopes today. I shared them on my Twitter. Uh, you got to go see them. Um, there's some, you know, there's some really, some straight people did some really cool scopes today, and really fucking took me out of my psychotic rage. Yeah. Yeah, well, Salah, they have every fucking day of the month, every year, every month of the year. So it's, um, it's, it's not, it's, it's just a bitter bunch of fucking ignorant morons. Every day is heterosexual pride. Um, the day that, wait, there, sh there should be just one pride, the day everyone celebrates for being a sexuality no matter what. Um... Yeah, I mean, in a perfect world, yes, that would be, uh, uh, but it's, it's not realistic. People just are not that open-minded. Um, hold on, this fucking truck's gonna end up running me over. Hello there, how are you? The wind blows, there's the parade, yeah. The, you know, I miss you too. It's been a shitty day. Um, but I, uh... It's far from perfect, but that's okay because, you know, I saw some good scopes today. I just, uh, you were? Hello, baby. How are you? And there's Kimmy. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I was reluctant to get on. I've been, I was, I was hesitating getting on, uh, scope all day because I was fucking furious. No, no, I said hello, baby, to you, and then I said hello, Kimmy. No, you said I, I called you baby. <laughs> um, that's right, my Puerto Russian baby. Um, yeah, so today I was fucking bent out of shape. Uh, this, this fucking pride bullshit is just fucking... Um, just showing me uh, just how fucking, how many ignorant people are out there. Um, uh, Lulu, well, I don't know if you saw this morning, the number one, I logged into Twitter today to go through my, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, unfortunately, like 61,000 people on the tires you have to slash because I woke up this morning to see that the number one hashtag on Twitter was hashtag heterosexual pride day and I fucking went bonkers um, and uh, uh, yeah we're celebrating heteros every day honey um, and and I and I and I give and I give credit to the to the heterosexual community all the time because without the heterosexual community that was brave enough to stand up and fight for people like me to have rights, they wouldn't, I wouldn't have any fucking rights. 
It didn't happen only from gay people. Um, I don't know who started it, but they should be kicked in the fucking balls. Because I'm sure it was a guy. Um, and, you know, this fucking whiny little fucking... They get their own parade. Yeah, uh, when you go onto Twitter and you go in... If you click into the search bar... Yeah. Um... Uh, it, as soon as you click in there, it tells you what the, the number one trends are. And when I fucking clicked in there this morning to, uh, to, to search for something, I saw that and I fucking, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. You know what? Probably. Probably right, Sala. Um, you know, straight people need, need credit. Like, I, I'm gonna, I'll repeat it. I've said it before. It's in my fucking video that I posted. Um... It's, um, heterosexuals deserve a lot of credit for the rights that I have as a gay person. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Um, the problem is, um, this, there, there's, a, it just shows you, they, I think this, early this morning, it had, it had, it had trended, number one trending tweet. It was even fucking, it was, all, it even beat. The Turk, the Turkish fucking terrorist attack. Um, it fucking blew my mind. It blew my fucking mind that, that hello, hello, Aja. Um, it just, it, it, it fucking hurts me in my soul because 61,000 people at fucking six o'clock this morning had already tweeted it. And... The fact that anybody's even making a fucking mockery of it, you know, I, this this is my theory on why we have a gay pride parade, a gay pride months, is there are fucking thousands of, and if not millions of people who feel like they're alone and either kill themselves or get married and, and lead a closeted life and either cheat on their fucking wives or husbands. Um, families disown people because of it. And all, usually, I would say, I'm no expert, but eight or nine, ten, ten times out of ten, it's because of fucking religion that they disown their own family. They will cut their own fucking children off, brothers and sisters, and eliminate them from their family as if they never existed because of who they choose to fucking love. Now, there are millions of people who have not come out of the closet because they either didn't get to that point or they didn't feel it was safe. The Pride Month is to show that, you know what, there is somebody like me out there. Holy shit, that guy just, that guy just came out. He's, he's walking down the fucking street and he's in a police uniform. He's in a fucking fire department uniform. There's everyone in that fucking pride parade. Um, there are fucking... Every walk of life... Hello, Avi, how are you? Um, there's every walk of life in that pride parade that you see in all these cities. These hundreds of pride parades that are in these cities, especially in New York. For you to be, for you to be able to see a fucking police... Like a, like a line of fucking police officers, like 10 people wide by like fucking 100 lines. Those are gay police officers that are fucking marching in a parade. Can you imagine what that says to somebody who's struggling with the fact that they want, they, they're, they're afraid to come out? And they are either f contemplating fucking putting a bullet in their head because they don't think anybody's going to fucking accept them and they, and, they, and or... The fucking shit that just happened in Orlando might happen to them. So for those people who hide the fact that they are doubting their sexuality, that's what the Pride Month is about. It's about sh straight people showing that you know what, I love you for what you for who you are, not who you sleep with. Um. Because of the fucking content of your character, not because of who whose fucking lap you're, you're you're in. 
and for 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 the you know June is Gay Pride Month, and for for some fucking knucklehead to to start that the trend of that hashtag heterosexual pride day when every fucking day is heterosexual pride day you and and I've I've seen a lot of great quotes on Twitter today you you find me one country in the world where it's illegal or you can either be put to death or in jail for being heterosexual and then you can have a fucking pride day because outside of that every fucking day is a pride day especially for white straight people. Now, when it comes to sexuality, the only people that are safe without any criticism are heterosexuals. Gays are thrown off roofs and they're stoned to death. Mexico, or Brazil right now, has government-sanctioned mobs that are hunting down gay people and killing them today. Fucking today in Brazil. In Brazil, it's not even that far from America. Um, so, w when when people have a problem, I've I've been watching a lot of people today on video and on Periscope talking about how they think that it's it's pro it's a problem that there's a Pride Month and everything's thrown down their throats. Well, fucking guess what? Yeah, Russia. Hello, exactly. Um, the, the, the fact that anybody is going to judge me based on who I choose to have a relationship with, this is what I have to fucking say to them. So, yeah, I was, I was very much offended by that, by that fucking hashtag trending today because it just showed me at this morning's six fucking 30 in the morning that 61 fucking thousand people I would say no you know I would say probably about I would say maybe 10,000 people were were people using the hashtag to combat the the tweets um, so as of this morning it was probably accurately uh, 50,000 people who had trended it people are posting videos of themselves with their wives you know what? Imagine, imagine this. Imagine I'm sitting at a traffic light with my other half of 16 years, and a, and I have my fucking hand on his leg, just because I wasn't thinking, and a fucking SUV pulls up next to me. The day that you have to worry as a straight person about that is the day that you got a fucking Pride Day, where I'll support it. The, the, the fact that I have to worry about picking a piece of lint off of my fucking other person, my other half's shirt in public because I got to wonder who's in, the, who's in the room that I'm going to be fucking punching the fucking shit out of or I'm going to be getting my ass kicked. I've had fucking confrontations in bars. I've had people come up to me and fucking tell me to get out because they found out I was gay. Right to my fucking face. So the day that somebody fucking has to deal with that is the day that they get a fucking pride day. Any oppressed group has the right to, to demonstrate the strength of those like the, so that the, as to set an example for the ones who are ashamed of who they are. I look at, at me being gay no different than somebody being left-handed. I could be right-handed if I want to be, but my natural instinct is to be left-handed. It's not, believe me, I didn't fucking choose this. I could tell you that right now. I, I, I probably would have chosen to, to have no hand rather than to fucking go through the, the 30 years of hell that I've dealt with by dealing with fucking ignorant assholes like these assholes on Twitter then fucking be gay. So for somebody who say to tell me that this is a choice, anybody who says that it's a choice usually has some Bible bullshit 
that they're fucking following that up with. But I love beating them up with the fucking Bible because that's the only part of Leviticus that they fucking adhere to. Because otherwise, there'd be a lot of dead virgin uh, or dead dead uh, daughters on on daddy's doorsteps because she was deflowered before she got married. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it it's and 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 wearing clothes with mixed fibers. It's, it's worthy of the death penalty according to the Bible. I am smiling, uh, but I I wasn't I was definitely not smiling earlier today. Um, shellfish, yeah, definitely. Holy crap, shellfish. It's yeah. You need food for thought. You'll have to watch the uh, replay, Jeff. How are you? Handsome lobster. Uh, did you guys see? If you do the, if you do hashtag Pride, it has rainbow colored hearts. I don't know if anybody noticed. Um, how are you, my friends? Hello, everybody. It's been a. Thank you very much. Hello, Ari. It's been a. It's been a. An emotional day for me. Um, Hashtag pride. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag pride puts uh, the, the rainbow colored hearts. Uh, I just got to Costco because God wants to punish me more. Get, making me gay wasn't enough. He, he, he gives me shopping list to go to Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the zombies coming out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love Costco like I love vagina. <laughs> I know, definitely not. <laughs> but anyway, that's my thoughts on the uh, on the hashtag. I, I'm all about, and I'm sure I'm pretty sure most of you have seen my uh, my my pride video. Um, it. Uh, there, there are a lot of people who deserve credit, and they and they get credit from me um, on a regular basis. Um, yeah, it's uh, it, it, uh, Ari. You, you know, you have to watch the replay. It's just, it's just, it's been a. a, a but the long and short of it is the. Thank you, Jeff. The long and short of it is the number one tweet at six o'clock this morning was heterosexual Pride Day. That was the number one tweet in all of Twitter. Even higher than, even higher than the, um, even higher than the Turkish bombings. Um, yeah, no, I know, I know, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, we love you, Jeff. Thank you for, uh, yeah, number one hashtag on Twitter today was the hashtag heterosexual pride day I found it offensive as did evidently thousands of people tens of thousands of people so that was yeah I absolutely mean it um, Yeah, it's just it's just such a fucking it's it's a mockery. You know what? When you know what I feel bad for people, young kids, or people that are just recently look thinking of coming out that that see that kind of shit. That's the number one trend on Twitter. That just that that just shoved them right back. That shoved them right back in the closet. Exactly. It's like having a White Pride Day or White you know, White History Month. It's, 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 it's unnecessary because it is a given, but it's not, it, it, what do I smoke? Menthol cigarettes. <laughs> there is a Lulu day every day, honey. I have no problem with that. Oh, I don't know about that, Dom, but thank you for the compliment. Now, Indian cigarettes, they're $2 a pack. <laughs> Goes good with vodka. Hello there, hello there, how are you? 
Yeah, it was Maurice. Yeah, I well, I think I tore him up this morning, but he, uh, I think he he just misunderstood um, what my problem was. <laughs> um, the uh, fuck Maurice here right now. It's uh, um, yeah. The, uh, the you know the the other thing that was pretty sad was this morning, both Maurice and Charles Unit, neither one of them knew that that June was Gay Pride Month, and how fucking sad is that? Even after the Orlando murders, it wasn't enough news for people to catch on. Love you too. All right, I'll talk to you later, honey. Yeah. Who are they? Uh, they're friends of ours, uh, friends of mine. I still consider them friends, even though I was disagreeing. But I had a long talk with uh, with Charles on the phone after he actually called me, which I thought was very nice of him, um, because he really didn't get it. And we had a long talk on the phone, and he really, he really got it. Um, <laughs> Jack and tweets, yeah. I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. But unfortunately, people, people fell for it. Yeah, um, uh, people fall for it, and they were. It, it's starting a fucking war, an anti-gay war, also. Uh, who didn't get it? Um, uh, what do you? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Charles Banana. Yeah, he didn't understand it. Um, he didn't understand what my problem was. He, he thought everybody, sh you know, it was no big deal. But he didn't realize that it was a mockery of the Gay Pride um, Month. And it was also a kick in the balls to all the people like myself who have been through hell. Um, and people like me who have been murdered and beaten simply because of who they fucking choose to have a relationship with. <laughs> Jack and for tweets, all right? Yeah, all right, hold on, let me, let me screenshot that so I can... Yeah, so it's, um... But, uh, for, for those of you who are, who are following me on Twitter, um, I, I shared two broadcasts today um, on Twitter. One is, uh, I forget her name, but she's from California, and there was a, 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 a black guy, who I think he was also from California, two straight people. Um, yeah, he, he's, he's an awesome person, I, and that's why I was really, really uh, Im impressed that he, I know, I was impressed that he reached out to me, even beyond uh, text. Um, he's soliciting again, yeah. Um, but anyway, on, on my Twitter page, I shared two people's scopes today that, that I saw. One was, it was an Asian girl, I forget her name. I hate to refer as an Asian girl, but I, I, that, there's only two scopes that you'll recognize. Um, she, yeah, people like to believe in a book that was written 2,000 years ago, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Except when they go get a haircut or when they use... Uh, I can't, don't, don't even get me started on the Bible again. Um, but, <laughs> thank you. But, uh, but those two people, one was a straight guy and one was a straight woman. Um, uh, I shared their broadcasts on my Twitter wall. Yeah, uh, you know, unfortunately, that, that is uh, very sad. Yeah, you're, you're an ally. Well, thank you for your support. And it's, uh, I was, I was, I was almost tempted to read my life story on, on fucking scope again today. That's, uh, that's how bent out of shape I got because people don't get it. Um, so it's just, uh, but I had to reel myself in from that one, but I'll, I'll probably end up doing it again because pride month ends tomorrow, but I, uh, yeah, and unfortunately, people don't um, <clears throat> people don't understand unless they see stuff like that, and they see um, 
Yeah, no, I, I, I know, and everybody, everybody that that I usually see in my broadcast does get it. Yes, yes, absolutely, Helena. Thank you for that message today, and thank you to all of you who have been sending me messages. I really, uh... <laughs> Sala, he's my Perry husband. I'm doing okay, Thomas. How are you? I miss you too. Yeah, it's just when I think I'm doing a little better, I get another kick in the balls like today. But, uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? That. Uh, I, I, Helena, a, a good. A good part of your community has. So, you, the, the ignorant assholes. That's not your community. That's that's a sub segment of your of your straight community. Don't take credit for any of those assholes. Exactly, exactly, Ari. Yeah, and unfortunately, they don't they don't realize a lot of them are there because they're afraid, and that's what Pride Month is about: is giving people the the support that they need to feel free and safe to actually be open about themselves. Yeah, they're, they're either the undereducated or the overeducated with religion. Um, the followers, and I respect people's um, different beliefs, um, but when they try to infringe on someone else's rights because of their fucking beliefs, I'm staying outside, yeah. I was finishing my cigarette anyway. But, um, <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't, I don't know how they start to trend. Um, obviously some knucklehead with a lot of followers did it and, and a lot of them followed suit. Um, I'm sure there's a, a I'm sure there's a formula to it. Love you too. Uh, enjoy your dinner. Um, you may need to have sex now. <laughs> Cool. Um, uh, roll off. Uh, I'm, I'm about to end this because I have to go into Costco, but if you can, just watch the replay. Um, yeah. Are we going to shop? With, are you going to shop with me? Uh, well, you know what? I'll end this scope so people can just see what my point was, and then I'll restart another one from inside. Yeah. Pinheads, yeah. I, you know what? I like Bill O'Reilly. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Famous last picture. Somebody, somebody screenshot that. <laughs> love you too. Okay. Uh oh. Low battery mode. Much love. Hello, Shasta. I mean, goodbye, Shasta. <laughs> my my brain is fried today. All right. All right. So I'll see you on in a little bit. Thank you. Okay. That's right. Hello, Wade. Okay. Oh, oh good for you, Lone Wolf. Awesome. Everyone, yeah. Abort, abort, abort. All right, Wade. I, I, I'm going to run into Costco. I'm going to end this scope so people can see what my point was, and then I'll, I'll restart inside. This way it'll distract me from, from murdering people. Love you too, honey. Yeah. Bond has entered the building. Bye, I'll see you in a little bit.